Hello, everyone. This is uh, Shad Reis from CVI 2023 in Austin. I'm really privileged to be with Dr. Paul Soraja, who is one of the course co-directors for CVI. Dr. Soraja, pleasure to be with you. Thank you very much for being here and being here year after year. Thank you. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So the program is growing every year, and the structural kind of space we know by itself is growing very broadly. Yeah. You, you can do a CVI dedicated meeting for structural. So uh, what was your vision for this meeting and going forward? Well, as you mentioned, things have evolved a lot. And in the past year or two, we've seen an explosion of tricuspid technology. So this year, we have a lot of tricuspid cases and sessions, including satellite symposia. Uh, we have a lot of new imaging symposia, ice imaging, T imaging, all the imaging parts that go with these procedures. Yeah. We've really bolstered that area of the curriculum. And it's really exciting to see. Uh, we continue to focus on being a case-oriented meeting. And uh, I, I think the feedback has been phenomenal for this new venue. Absolutely. This is an operator enclaved uh, program. So at least it's uh, all case-based as well as discussions for, based on the program. Now, one of the things that's new, and you are the PI for Triluminate, is the tricuspid space and becoming a, a focus attention now after this trial. Yeah. So how do you see this space and what's coming in that pipeline for the tricuspid valve? Well, I mean, I think when we talk about tricuspid, it's, it's it going to be a really important space for us. It might be one of the most common procedures we are asked to do as interventionists and imagers in the near future. And that's simply because these patients don't have good options right now. Um, you know, these are patients who typically are elderly. They might have already had previous surgery. Uh, they might have some morbidities. And there are no good options from a surgical standpoint for a lot of these patients. And I think for the very near future and for a long time, we're going to see these patients in our practice. And I think there's even uh, a good likelihood that we're going to see even more of them as we continue to go forward because we're getting better and better at correcting left-sided disease. Patients with ischemic heart disease are living longer. These hef peppers have AFib, and then they develop TR. Yeah. And it's, it's going to be an explosion, in my opinion. Yep. And uh, last question is about CVI 2024. Yeah. I was told it's not yet, we don't know where it's going to be, <laughs> yes. TBD, that's what uh, <laughs> Subash told me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's your call for, for people applying for this program? We have yeah. a lot of scholars coming from international. Yeah. So what is your call for these new young fellows and uh, scholars? Well, first of all, I would say that uh, anybody who's interested, I'm really excited to see what we can do to help. This year, we have reached an inflection point. We've got record attendance uh, this year, and I believe it's because uh, it's not only the location and the new place, uh, but we really focus on creating a, a more interactive meeting. Uh, we've completely removed the podium uh, from, from all of the uh, sessions and brought the speakers and the faculty and the panel directly into the audience. And, and because of that, the quick interactions are so um, much more quick and the case-based format uh, uh, with clinical challenges being posed and resolved have led to a lot more interaction. We have people in the audience speaking up and, and, and saying things without microphones in their hand, which is awesome. And, 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 and I think that going forward, it's just going to be incredibly exciting. I, I think anybody who's interested and wants to reach out and apply and come, please. Uh, we'd love to have you because uh, I think there's a lot of excitement being generated yeah. this year. Absolutely. And that covers student, resident, even CV, yes. uh, staff, tech, and nurses correct. are all sponsored. That's correct. Even the, the APP Symposium, APP. the Nurse Tech Symposium, this year I believe we have over 100 people registered for that. It's going to happen tonight. It's a three-hour meeting that uh, Marcus Burns is leading with Liz Perpetua. Um, I think that's only going to continue to grow. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your support and yes. really for supporting the clinical practice and the changes we have in clinical practice in structural and other venues as well. Dr. Roger, thanks for your time. Thank Watch you. his videos and others on CVI uh, YouTube channel. This is Shadi Reis from Austin. Thank you so much.